The vaccine front, Biden also said that he wants to roll out 100 million shots in his first 100 days, a tall ask. And the slow rollout of the coronavirus vaccine so far has really been frustrating for a lot of folks on many levels. On our King 5 Facebook page, we got nearly 200 comments about Governor Jay Inslee joining with eight other governors across the country asking for the federal government to release more doses. And now that is happening, but is it the right decision? Steve Bunin verified. Last week, the incoming Biden administration announced it would release all of the government's doses of the coronavirus vaccine as soon as Joe Biden takes office. The Trump administration had been holding millions of doses back. So who's right? Let's verify. To find out, we consulted with Dr. Larry Corey of Fred Hutch, who is the vaccine point person for the entire country overseeing all of the trials in the United States. The Trump administration has been holding back millions of vials of the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines as a safety stock. But that approach was widely criticized because of how many Americans need to get vaccinated and how many now need to get their booster shot on time. That's the one that has the high efficacy. That's the one that has the great protection against hospitalization and, and severe disease. And frankly, that's the one I think that needs to drive the science of getting the, the benefit, the full benefits. This week, Health and Human Services Secretary Alex Azar announced the production pipeline had improved, so the Trump administration will, in fact, release all of its doses. Dr. Corey says that's imperative because the timing of the vaccine's booster shot matters. I think the real issue has been to be able to deliver on time all the doses that have been manufactured. The reversal by the Trump administration helps prove holding millions of vials back is not necessary and releasing all of the COVID-19 vaccine doses is the right decision. With your Verify, I'm Steve Bunin.